Today we're talking about connecting up an ACR switch onto your stove. ACR is sometimes called NF1. NF1 is a very old terminology. It comes out marked as ACR. This switch is made by Satchwell, okay, very good local South African. This switch also comes out with a wiring diagram on it, so you can see clearly how to wire that if you've lost this wiring diagram. Ignoring that, let's go on. If you look at the switch, there it's written top. There it's written right close by the terminal, you see it's written L2. Okay, the other one is written L1, the middle one is L1, and the end one is P. And the bottom one here, that one there, is that one there, H2, and this one here is this one here, H1, that one there. Okay, don't get confused by that thing, that's just a heater resistor, just to move power to help with the regulation, so you see a red stripe here means absolutely nothing, ignore it. Okay, to connect the thing is very easy. If you go to your stove plate, you'll see your stove plate is written one, two on your bottom of your plate here, uh, one, two, four, three, okay. For this specific switch, you connect one and two together using a jumper, okay. You connect th uh, four and three together using a jumper, okay. Going back to your switch, you've got to mount your switch. Top must be pointing upwards. Okay, if you look at your mountings, this specific switch is what we call screw mount. It's got two screws that you loosen, you put it in, you tighten again. So you just tighten it, but making sure the top is pointing upwards. Okay, you also get bush mount, which is a little nut around the middle here. Same, the same switch, different mounting. Okay, it locks into two holes so it can't move. Okay, again, top must be pointing top. Okay, it locks into two holes, you tighten the nut. Great. Right, now to connect it up. If we go look at L2, which happens to be this one, we've covered it, L2 and L2, same point. You take your live from your fuses and you push it onto L2. Okay, L1 is your neutral, from your neutral box. Okay, so that's L1 there, that's L2. Live, neutral. The P stands for your pilot light, you connect it there, and the other side of your pilot light, you connect to your neutral. Okay, That means that your pilot light will come on, go off, whenever your stove switch is putting power onto your plate. Okay? To connect your plate up, if you look at the diagram here, it's a blow up. This is a blow up of that terminal block there. Again, one, two, four, three. So you put your jumper in there, you put your jumper in there. Now all you got to do is take the jumper from 3 and 4 and put it onto H1. Okay, take the jumper from 1 and 2 and put it onto H2. So you just have two wires from here going there and it'll work like a dream. Okay, it's a variable stat which means you can put it on low and when it's on low it'll come on and off if you look at it with the tongue tester looking at your amps. It'll come on and off as you set it higher so it'll come on for longer and off for longer. Okay, to regulate your temperature. Beautiful switch, gives very little problems.